Who would you like to? I'm the allocator, eh? Mm -hmm. Hammer. <laughs> I'd like to hear from yeah, Steve here, this, this fine gentleman. So the question is, why did I get into men's work? <coughs> well, and what is well, it? I'm not sure. Done, I'm not sure because well. I didn't have any problems. So um, <laughs> I was just cruising yeah. along in life, and uh, uh, I, 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 I uh, followed a, a woman up to Byron Bay, and, and um, uh, so yeah, I, I didn't have any problems, or so I thought, and I was, I, but I, I did because I felt like I was a living cliche. I had a lot of trimmings and I had a lot of words, but there wasn't much under that. And so, yeah, I just saw a brochure and went to a gathering. And um, I also couldn't really um, deal with the death of my father, and I also couldn't really deal with the fact that all the men in my bloodline die very young. So I've outlived a lot of the men in my, in my bloodline already. And I guess that sort of explains why I was uh, attracted to wildness and um, drugs and alcohol and uh, crazy behaviour, intensity. And I confused intensity with many things like love and, um, and fun and even peace. I confused intensity with peace. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I just started out and, and then, I, then I got addicted to service. And then I had to have a, had to speak to some people that love me and hold me in high regard, and I hold them in high regard, and I had to really work out what I was actually doing. And um, I just kept getting deeper and deeper, and and uh, slowly but surely getting closer and closer to um, who I really was. And and some of the parts I really liked, and some of the parts I didn't like. So with much introspection and uh, love from people and myself, self-love. Uh, I'm sitting here with people that I hold in high regard and would trust with my life. I guess that's me, thanks. So, um, Steve, I have a hunch you want to say something. Uh, I've already shared. But I know, I know. I well, just... okay. Um, yeah, hearing um, Hearing Wolf and Gary Cox speak around, um, I just wanted to add as well that you know, I, I, I need to learn more about being, being fierce and being safe at the same time. And uh, sometimes I don't know how to do that, and I don't get it right. So I can, I can come here and and do that, and then go home, and I can celebrate my masculinity fiercely and and also safely. So yeah, maybe I did want to say that. Thank you, Hilton.